What is CSS? CSS is styling language mostly used for making HTML web pages looking interactive and stylish. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. That means it's in style sheet language. Suppose you're making a HTML pages, so that's not looking good. If we add a CSS page and add some properties and join them pages together, then we see the effect here. So in this way we can make our web pages interactive. So let's make an example. Here you can see our tutorials.html page which we have created in our previous videos. So it's in Firefox file. So let's move it again and make some code. So here is that code and here the first line is the heading, paragraphs, another paragraph, under the heading, under the paragraph. So let's run it in. So let's run it in. Check out. Here's our run page. So here is no effect. It's an only simple. It's in rough page. So let's make a new new file and create a new CSS document which holds the properties of our HTML page. So here, our new file. Save it as. Um, um, stylus.css it's an next section with CSS so here our page is ready now it's time to link them link pages together here's a you can see our pages come styles here you can see it's in like notepad pile so it's time to join pages together so in our HTML page, in the under the heading tags, um, we have to make a link called link. It starts with link. Uh, first, our less lengthening symbol, and then link. And real, it it shows the relationship of your style sheet in the HTML page. So you can also add anything at can here. I'm adding style sheet, so it's in and then you need to put your href method which we have learned in previous videos it holds the location of your second web page so my second web page name is style.css so i'm adding this and close the terminal so the link tag doesn't have any um, terminal so it's an enough so now your html page is completely connected with style.css so let's move it on style.css and join some properties so for headings i'm adding h1 and then curly breaks so under curly breaks you have to add some properties so I'm changing the color of text so you have to only put color and then column and now put the property of your tag color I'm adding red so now it's enough now save it and now time to run okay refresh it now you can see our heading is get dragged so now it's looking good so let's move it around and join some new properties for paragraphs we are adding pair p and also i'm adding color property with green save it refresh it here you can see paragraphs changed into green so as you can see you can also add some new properties on it and join and make pages interactive as looking good so I you can also add here you can see code editors so different properties of so I am adding font size with 36 pixels HTML uses pixels or percents here you can see our paragraph size is bigger than our headings so in this way you can also add so thanks for watching and upcoming videos are going to tell